Hey guys, I was just about to go to bed and then I saw, oh, there's a notification on my Discord. And you know what? Wildcard just announced a new map coming later this year and it is going to be Ark Lost Island. I have not heard about this map before. I am so excited from what I have seen so far. It looks a little bit like, um, yeah, like a tropical version of uh, Ragnarok maybe. So it, it looks, it looks really... I would say like South American uh, from yeah from the first looks and from the vibes it gives you guys I'm I'm so excited let's go through this because before I lose my words <laughs> and I don't know what to say let's go through this and um, we check this out together because at the end there's also something where you can vote and where you can suggest something so you can be part of this process and uh, you probably want to hear about that. 24 minutes ago so I'm really fresh here introducing lost islands and we have we have like this temple here that looks pretty nice what we see is uh, is raptors that are just uh, hanging out it's very luscious and green and this one reminds me of Ragnarok like this uh, you remember this place in Ragnarok where you have uh, also have the cave here um, we have a trike here Let's go further. Here we see there is also a volcano biome. We have um, pine trees here, which looks like it could go into like a, I would say redwood-ish area. Let's see, what else do we see? We have a castle, of course. We can't we can't miss out on a castle, right? So we have a castle, Argens, that I see here. Yeah, we do have a lot of water. This also reminds me so much of Ragnarok where we have the yeah, water area and then we had this like little valley and around we have snow with a castle. It looks super similar and I like that. I like that a lot. We also get one new dino introduced and it's the Amargasaurus. This is a dinosaur that is based on a realistic, on a real dinosaur. It is a sauropod that is aggressive and it has aggressive and dangerous spikes uh, that do for, from what I see that do um, temperature, so heat and cold damage. Um, we can go through this. Um, of all the creatures of the sauropod family, Amagasaurus titanicus is likely the most unique looking. It sports two parallel rows of dorsal spines down the length of its neck, back and tail. Though the neck spines are significantly longer than the back and tail spines, the spines are a remarkable adaption, giving Amagasaur unmatched control over his body temperature. Made even more incredible, by the time on arcs these spines store both extreme heat and extreme cold, effectively allow a Magasaur to live comfortable in any environment. Its sails also its sails also make it abnormally capable swimmer for a sauropod. So this thing is going to be an amazing swimmer. It can keep the body temperature no matter where it is. Let's see. Unlike most sauropods, Amagasaur is very prone to violence, attacking most predators and humans on sight. I suspect this behavior developed alongside the dangerous spines it uses as weapons. Um, domesticated, once finally tamed, it's no surprise that Amagasaur spines are its best features. If removed early, their term of storage becomes erratic, which is perfect for catalyzing sap development in many trees. That's going to be interesting uh, what it actually means. We will see. Um, maybe it's a sap farmer. Um, that might be, that might be um, what they want to say. Some tribes, of course, adapted the thermal quirk for combat. By having a Megasaur eject a spine before it shuts naturally, the freezing, warming waves that emanate from the spike play havoc with the armor in the area. Interestingly, simple armor is barely affected, while more complex armor is more heavily affected. And I think that's amazing, because like for years we have been capping our armor and have been looking for the best armor possible. And now this is a counter to very high value armor, and that's going to be very amazing. And now submit your creature ideas. There will be three exclusive creatures that are going to be part of Lost Island. One is the Amagasaurus and the second one is not introduced. Third one you can actually vote for. So you can go on here. Yeah, you can go on here and you can actually go into the forum and you can suggest one. So here it says, have you ever wanted to see your favorite real world prehistoric creature added to Ark? 
You're just in luck for the upcoming Lost Island map. We'll be adding three new creatures and we're looking for your community input for the final one. Here, one thread per, per creature. You just put this in the forum. And you have time until July 23rd. And yeah, submit your favorite real-time uh, arc creature to be added into the game. That's gonna be amazing. Uh, here we have the submissions. People already added some. And yeah, feel free to add yours. Um, just uh, register at the forum or log in if you're already here. And um, yeah, have your have your creature um, listed in here. But guys, what do you think about Lost Island? I'm really surprised and really excited about this one, about like this luscious green um, island, another island that has like the basic biomes. I think that gets a lot of people very excited. I know Ragnarok is one of the most uh, player favorite maps that is out there. So having a map that seems to be very similar to it is going to be probably something people are getting excited about. So let me know in the comments what you think and I will keep you updated if I find new infos about it. And just before you ask, yes, it's going to be on Steam, Epic, Xbox, PlayStation later this year. And it's going to be free. So yeah, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.